trust as a child. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For your heavenly Father knows what you need in all these things. Matthew 6, 31 and 32. I have been blessed with four wonderful children, and each one is unique. They all have one thing in common. Not one child rises in the morning with the concern of what he or she is going to eat or what they're going to wear. At least not when they lived at home with me. Their parents meet their needs. Rather than ask, is there any breakfast? They say, what's for breakfast? They have a built-in trust that provision has been made for their growling stomachs. This serves as an inspiration to me. If my children trust me to take care of them, why can't I trust for God to take care of me? Hannah Withall Smith had a similar enlightenment while visiting someone's house. She wrote, I once visited a wealthy home where there was a little adopted child upon which was lavished all the tender love and care that human hearts could bestow. The child ran in and out free and lighthearted without a care. I thought, what a picture of our wonderful position as children in the house of our Heavenly Father. And I said to myself, nothing would grieve and wound the loving hearts around her as if to see this little child beginning to be worried or anxious about herself in any way. How much more must the great loving heart of our God and Father be grieved and wounded to see his children taking so much anxious care and thought? And I understood why it was that our Lord said to us so empathetically, Take no thought for yourselves. This devotional was taken from Steve Hill's book, Daily Awakenings, and I pray that you all have a blessed day.